Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to just do a quick video and try to do a little bit of rendering of my wheel. So I also um, have to add a tire to this. So I'm going to make a, um, a new layer. I actually have nothing in layer 6, so I'll just rename it and call it tire. And I will make it a, uh, let's see what I, we'll do maybe cyan. Nice bright color, so I'll activate that. All right, so for the tire, um, I like to draw it in the right side view. And I'm going to make a, um, I guess, like a construction line. So I'll turn, I'll, I'll turn my, uh, I guess I'll actually do a, a rectangle. We haven't done a rectangle in a while. I'll show you a couple of ways to do them. One, you could do actually a, um, a rounded rectangle. So you can just start, like, right about here, and then end right about here, and then just kind of imagine how much sidewall you want. Sidewall is the, is the amount of vertical tire wall before it starts rounding for the road. So I'll just pull out. I think that's pretty good right there. Maybe I go a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to do a, um, let's see, a rounded rectangle, maybe like, like that. Okay, and I'm going to take a polyline. I'll turn my object snap on, and I'll do an endpoint snap. There should be an end. There it is, right there. And if I hold down shift, I'll pull up an ortho right up into here, and I'll do the same thing. And shift, just get it straight up. I will trim. Cutting objects are these two lines. Objects to trim is this. I'll join up. Okay, and then I'll revolve. So surface revolve, grid snap on, so I can get onto this axis. So that curves to revolve. We'll go start a revolve axis, end of revolve axis, zero to three sixty. And let's see what we got. Okay, kind of like a truck-ish tire. All right, so I'll make one new one. I'll do tire two, and I'll try a different method. Two. Okay, and I'll activate it, change the layer color. Let's do a bright green. We don't have bright green yet. And I'll hide my first tire. And for this one, I'm going to try to do something a little bit more rounded. So um, I'll try an ellipse diameter. OK, so I'm going to I have my grid snap on. So I'll try maybe like I think about here. I'm projecting across to where I think the tire will go up. OK, and I'll do the same thing. So there should be an end. If there isn't, it's a quad snap for the uh, west coast, north pole, east coast, south pole, the quadrants of the circle or ellipse. OK, I'll hold down Shift, get it nice and straight. OK, right up in there. Do the same thing here. Shift, nice and straight. Do my trim. Cutting objects are these two curves. Objects to trim is this. Join these three up. Okay, and then surface revolve. Grid snap on, start, and 0, 360. Okay, we've been doing a lot of revolving on this. All right, so that's, that's one wheel. And let's see what the other one looks like. I kind of like this one better. All right, that's just my opinion, but you can do any any style you want. So then now let's let's render. Okay, so um, I'm gonna using what we learned from the fishing reel project. I'm going to um, make a new material. Okay, and we can try a flamingo metal material. Okay, or you could do a flamingo solid color. Make any material you want. Okay, so. I'll do, um, maybe I'll make this metal a, uh, like a darker gray. 
is gunmetal. And I'm going to double click on this so I can see a nice preview of that. It's kind of nice. I'll go to the advanced editor and let's see here. Let me drag this over so I could see a little bit more. Maybe I'll just increase this. Okay, so the intensity is the reflectivity. Let me bring that down a little bit. Okay, and then sharpness. I want it maybe a little bit blurrier, a little more matte, I guess. All right, we're getting there. Come on. All right, it's not it's not showing. Weird. There it is. Okay. I'll try that. So I will apply this actually to um, everything. So I have, um, we could go right click and like they did assign to layer. Okay, so I'll do it to the spider spokes, the wide spokes and the outer rim. And hit okay. And then I'm gonna go into a render display. Okay, there it is, kind of like that. Okay, and um, I'll make the air cap, you know, let me get rid of some curves. So S E L C R V select curves, move those into the curve layer. And let's make something for the, uh, let's rename this. We'll just call this, uh, I think it looks like a uh, uh, gray metal. Okay. And then, um, I'll make a new layer. I'm going to try a solid color. And I'll do a black. I could have done a plastic, obviously. And then the intensity, I'll make it nice and shiny ish. Well, way too shiny. Okay. And you can see the highlight color is white. Let's see if I lower that sharpness. Okay, let me change the highlight color. Maybe I could do a custom. Cool. What would happen if I did that? Crazy looking. Okay. Um, I'll maybe increase the sharpness a little bit. Get a little bling on my air cap. All right, I want to do that. Let's see what that looks like. So um, assign to layer, air cap. Cool. So far, I'm sure it's, the rendering is going to look totally different. Um, I'm actually going to apply this to my um, lug nuts too. So assign to layers, lug nuts. OK. And then for the tire, I'll try a, uh, it's too bad they don't have a, a rubber material. So I'm going to just open, see if there's anything I can find. So under plastic, um, can we do a preview? Textured plastic, black mat. I'm going to try black mat and see what that gives me. So I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to assign this to the tire. Assign to layer, and this will be tire, just tire one, this one. Cool. OK. So it's just floating in space, but if I do a render preview, we'll just get, whoop. Um, OK, I just have to put in the license code. Fancy. Okay, I can't even see my tire because my background is black. So I'm going to go into Flamingo, change it to exterior daylight. Okay, and I am going to also save this file, save as, and I'm going to save it as uh, rent, render one, okay, because I'm going to be moving it around. 
sometimes you want to move your model around to get a good rendering. So I'm going to put a, um, a ground plane. I haven't made a material for it, but let me just make a new material. Again, I'm going to open a material here. And let's go back to render content. Are there any environments here? No. OK. So I'm going to pick up an old material from the old flamingos. They're in my pickup folder. So Rosen pickup and CAD materials. So I believe this one is called, it's under site. There it is, asphalt. So let's look at large icons, asphalt aggregate, high aggregate. Let me try that one. Okay. All right, it's kind of a grayish asphalt, but we'll take a look. Um, so ground plane, I'm going to turn the ground plane on. You can see it cuts right through. So I could just move this up, but I could also move the ground plane down. So if I just move my mouse right over here, okay, right to here, I'm looking at the coordinates, okay, and it says that I should be at minus 17, okay. So I'm going to do here minus 17, and the material is going to be, whoops, not that, is going to be the asphalt. In the render preview, it doesn't really show you, okay. So Flamingo, render options, I want it to match. So I want this whole image, to, the render image, to be this size. So I'll do the uh, viewport resolution based on what I'm doing. I'm going to frame this. Let's see what we have. OK, better. So that's the, uh, that's the the wheel right now. You would let it do a couple of passes. And I'm not liking the tire. I think I want to make my own custom material. All right, so I'm just going to stop and X out. So let's go back to materials. It's a black mat. OK. So let me make my own my own material. So flamingo plastic and the color will be black. Advanced editor. Let's um do tire. It's one. I forgot to name the other one. And I'll assign it to the tire layer. OK, and it look, it's uh, definitely got some reflectivity here. It's plastic. So can I change the highlight color to custom? Can I make it a dark gray? What would that look like? Well, that's pretty nice. OK, let's see what that looks like. Better. OK, so I would, I would have to tweak this. I'm not going to kind of waste your time here. But I, I would tweak this material, let it do a couple more passes. I think I would do another material for the wide spokes, just make them look a little different. I feel like they're getting lost in there. OK. Um, uh, I kind of like the shadows. I can, I, I could definitely change in the environment under sun. I could say that instead of the sun being right here, maybe I can make the sun over coming this way. And uh, or actually, yeah, I think maybe like right there. Let's see what that would look like. I want to try to get shadows coming to the lower right here. There we go, a little better. Okay, 
frame your rendering, make it look good. I, I have, um, I would rotate this so I wouldn't see this empty sky right here. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is if you want, you can turn off the ground plane and under environment, if you go to um, right here, it says background type is sky. If you go to image, this is this is very easy to do. It says visible bitmap background. Empty. Click to as assign. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to say, "What image do you want to do you want to use?" So I'm just going to quickly go online, and I will do um, Nebula Galaxy. I'll do maybe this one. Let's do some image searches and something that's cool. Is it big? All right, it's a small image. Um, maybe I can do no, no. Where is the size? There it is, size. So settings, size, large. And maybe I'll do this one. All right, that's a big image. Let's see if I can get it. I'm going to click on it. OK. Is there any? Yeah, all right, I'll take, I'll take this one. So right click, save image as, and you would save this into your folder. I'm just going to put this onto my desktop for now, but save yours into your folder. And then here, I'm going to point to it to my desktop. There it is. I'm going to hit open. Give it a second. Okay. And let's see what it looks like. I probably was a bad choice with all the blackness. I should have done the orange nebula better. The wheel in space. Okay, so um, you can let it go. Once you're happy with it, I'd maybe do like seven passes at a minimum. Let it sharpen up a little bit. You're going to hit stop. Let it finalize. Wait for it to finish. Okay, it takes a little, couple of seconds. There we go. Done. File. Save as. This is what you're going to get graded on. And um, save it into your folder. All right. So I would uh, I would save this into my wheel folder, but I'm just going to save this into my desktop and uh, wheel render first and last name. Okay, and uh, you'll you'll be good. Okay. So hit save. It's saving it as a JPEG, by the way. Okay. So I'll save it, and then when it's time to submit this. If you just go find that file, here it is. And you're going to see that Windows can open up its photo viewer. And come on, Windows. Come on. Oh, man. There we go. And that's a regular image. OK? So um, I hope. You enjoyed this and um, happy rendering. Let's see what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching.